I'm very happy to be talking to Yaroslav Ponder. Now, he is a strategy and policy advisor for corporate strategy division at the ITU, and you're very much involved with the WISIS process. This is a crucial moment, isn't it? Because this is the point where we decide whether the process will continue. Yes, indeed. Uh, the WISIS Forum in 2013 is the unique opportunity to interact with the all stakeholders in order to understand what is needed for the WISIS and if the WSIS process should continue beyond 2015. It's very important uh, to see uh, if uh, during the last 10 years uh, some new emerging trends arrived which have to be captured and have to be addressed at the global level. For the time being, uh, we are working very hard with the all stakeholders on the implementation of the WSIS outcomes. There, are visible, um, pro there, there is visible progress which has been achieved uh, so far, and uh, we are proud to uh, see this and uh, that the commitment is still alive. Uh, this week we held the ministerial roundtable with the participation of more than 50 ministers where the message was very clear. We need WISIS to continue. There is plenty of the work uh, which still remains not answered and there is plenty of the new challenges uh, which are coming on our agendas and we need the political um, endorsement uh, in order to keep the ICTs on the top of the agenda. So what decisions need to be taken to ensure that it does continue? Uh, for sure, we are waiting uh, the General Assembly uh, to decide on the modalities of the overall review. The overall review, according to the Tunis outcomes, uh, should uh, take place uh, by the end of 2015. Uh, nevertheless, the preparatory work has to start immediately. Uh, we can't wait and uh, to um, uh, await the decisions while uh, thinking what would be the best for the process. Uh, during that week, we observed the tremendous commitment towards the implementation and towards the addressing the new challenges which are addressing uh, every citizen of this globe. Uh, and uh, we can't uh, let the, the time is passing. So for now, what we are trying to build here during that week is the multi-stakeholder consensus uh, on the series of the challenges uh, which are addressed and identified by the bottom of the pyramid. And that those who are working on the gr at the grassroots level and the, those uh, who are working in order to transform the information society into the knowledge society, uh, that uh, they can, with the full confidence, come to their countries uh, and say, yes, we continue, we have something uh, to be addressed in the future and we have the future. And for us it's very important because we are talking about the future of our next generations and they will make us accountable uh, for this if we are uh, really addressing this, what will influence uh, their uh, social economic development um, at the country, regional and international level. Yaroslav Ponder, thank you very much. Thank you very much.